morning, Miranda. This is Dr. P. Sirvaslu. Welcome to the video lecture series, Signals and Systems. Today, we are going to discuss about properties of signals. Uh, sorry, Fourier transform of signals. Here, consider a signal x of t is equal to e power minus a t e of t. This, first of all, this signal is whether it is a periodic signal or non periodic signal, you need to check. It is a non periodic signal. If you draw this signal, e power minus a t u of t, u of t, you know, u of t is equal to 1 for time t greater than or equal to 0. So it is extended from 0 to infinity. Now, within this duration, u of t is 1. Suppose if we substitute time t equal to 0 in this signal, e power minus 0, 1. So at time t equal to 0, we are going to get maximum value, that is a 1. And for different values of t, if you substitute and it is goes on, decreases by selecting proper a value, at time t equal to infinity, it is going to be at 0. So that's why it's exponentially a decaying signal. Now, there is no any periodicity from uh, drawing the signal. So it is a non-periodic signal. So for non-periodic signal, we can apply for a transform. So for a transform of x of t is equal to x of omega is, uh, is equal to integral minus infinity infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. It is the Fourier transform formula. Is equal to x of t. What is the x of t? e power minus a t u of t. So you substitute e power minus a t u of t here. This u of t, you know the limits of u of t. It is a 1 for time t greater than or equal to 0. So greater than or equal to 0 means it takes the limits from 0 to infinity. So instead of minus infinity to plus infinity, you change that limits to 0 to infinity. So 0 to infinity. Within these limits, u of t is equal to 1. So e power minus a t into e power minus j omega t into d. Now take here e power minus t is a common factor. So remaining terms a plus j omega. Now integrate this one with respect to integrate this one with respect to t. So e power minus a plus j omega integration is e power minus j plus j omega t divided by minus of a plus j omega. Now substitute these limits 0 to infinity and finally we will get 1 by a plus j omega. So it is the Fourier transform of e power minus a t u of t. It is equal to 1 by a plus j omega. If you, if you want to draw magnetic spectrum for this, the magnetic spectrum is like this. For different values of omega, the magnetic spectrum is this one, phase spectrum. And you see another signal. I think this signal we already in the previous lecture series also we discussed. That's why I skipped this one. Now you see another signal. Obtain the Fourier transform of following signals. You see, first signal is e power a t u of minus t. So by seeing the e power a t, we we can uh, it is looks like a unstable signal, but you see u of minus t has given parallelly u of minus t. u of minus t means u of my u of t you know it is exist for positive values of t. Whenever there is a u of minus t, it is going to be exist for negative values of t. So u of minus t is equal to one for time t less than or equal to zero. So whenever it is the time t less than or equal to zero, the actual value is zero, maximum limit is zero, and the minimum limit is minus infinity. So again, for a transform of x of t, it is x of omega is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity, x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt is equal to 
you substitute this x of t. What is the x of t? e power a t, u of minus t. So, minus infinity plus infinity, e power a t, u of minus t, e power minus j omega t into dt. This u of minus t is 1 for time t less than or equal to 0. So, it takes the limits from minus infinity to 0. So, you substitute this minus infinity to 0, x of t, e power a t into e power minus j omega t into t. Here also, you take minus t is a common factor or t is a common factor. Now, e power a minus j omega into t dt. Now, integration of e power a, e power a t dt formula. What is the integration of e power a t? e power a t divided by a. Now, we are doing integration with respect to t dt. So, instead of a, we have here a minus j omega. So, e power a minus j omega t divided by a minus j omega and substitute these limits minus infinity to 0. Now, if you substitute these limits, upper limit is 0. So, e power 0 is 1 minus lower limit is minus infinity. So, e power minus infinity is 0. So, finally, in the numerator, first term is a 1, second term is a 0. So, finally, you are going to get 1 divided by a minus j omega. Now, e power a t u of minus t. It is a left-sided signal. Previous case, it is a right-sided signal. So, the Fourier transform is 1 divided by a minus j omega. Only difference is, previously, there is a a plus j omega. Now, it is a minus j omega. If you see magnitude-wise, both are same. We draw the magnitude spectrum for this. You know magnitude spectrum, how to calculate magnitude spectrum of 1 minus a minus j omega. In the numerator, only there is a real term. So, root of real square plus imaginary square, again, it is the 1. In the denominator, if you calculate magnitude, root of a square plus uh, imaginary part is minus omega whole square. So, you will get root of 1 plus a square omega square. If you want to calculate phase spectrum for this, in the numerator, what is the phase angle? 0 degrees. In the denominator, what is the phase angle? Tan inverse of imaginary part is minus omega by it. Nothing but minus tan inverse of omega by a. It's a simple magnitude and phase calculation. And if we substitute different values of omega, in that omega equal to 0, you select a is equal to some 1. And based on that, you substitute different values of omega. So, simply, I am going to substitute here. You need to write here 1 divided by root of a square plus omega square. You select a is equal to 1. Whenever omega equal to 0, a equal to 1, we are going to get amplitude is 1. And suppose I am substituting omega equal to infinity. So, whenever it is omega equal to infinity, 1 divided by infinity is 0. So, final value is going to be 0. So, the values remaining all values of omega in between 1 to 0. So, that's why the spectrum is goes on decreasing like an exponential decay. So, parallelly for negative values of omega also. Now, there is a slight change between uh, e power 8 u of, u of uh, minus t spectrum, e power, e power minus 8 u of t spectrum, e power a t u of minus t spectrum because in the previous problem the phase angle is tan inverse of omega by a now the tan inverse of minus tan inverse of omega by a so whenever there is a uh, i think it is tan inverse of okay minus tan inverse oh, right here in the denominator we are going to get minus tan inverse of omega a whenever the phase angle is coming from denominator to numerator we are going to get positive tan inverse of omega by a. In the previous problem, you see phase is minus tan inverse of omega by a. Like this, for positive values of omega, it is a negative. For negative values of omega, positive phase. Now, it is quite opposite. For positive values of omega, positive. For negative values of omega, negative. So, you see another signal. e power minus a magnitude of t. So, what is the meaning of magnitude of t? It takes both positive values as well as negative values. Now, the same formula e power minus a magnitude of t is equal to e power minus a t for time t greater than 0 and it is 1 
at time t equal to 0. And for t less than 0, it is e power 8. So negative values of t, e power 8, positive values of t, e power minus 8. So you can split this signal. No need to write this integration also because already we have the uh, Fourier transform of e power 8, uh, e power minus 8, u of t, e power 8, u of minus t because it is existing x of t is equal to, you can write like two signals, x1 of t plus x2 of t. Here, what is the x1 of t? e power minus 8, u of t, because t takes the values from 0 to infinity, time t greater than equal to 0. And what is that uh, x2 of t, e power 8, u of minus t? It is time t less than 0. So, combination of uh, previous two signals, x1, uh, e power 8, e power minus 8, u of t, plus e power 8 u of minus t. So, x of t is equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t. If I apply for it also, this derivation is not necessary here. You simply remember, first signal, you, x1 of t like a e power, a, e power minus 8 u of t, x2 of t is e power 8 u of minus t. Previous case, two problems were going to be measured here. So, what is the previous case? Uh, uh, for a transform x of omega for one signal, it is a 1 by a plus j omega. For another signal, it is a 1 by a minus j omega. So 1 plus a plus j omega, 1 by a minus j omega. Take L sum for this. So you will get a plus j omega plus a minus j omega. J omega, j omega gets cancelled. In the numerator, we are going to get 2a. In the denominator, we are going to get a minus b into a plus b, a square plus omega square. It is the for a transform of this e power minus a magnitude of t. Now, what is the magnitude spectrum here? If you want to draw magnitude spectrum, what is the magnitude spectrum? If there is only real term. So, even if you calculate magnitude of x of omega, we are going to get this one. What is the phase? Zero. For all values of omega, there is no any imaginary part. So, tan inverse of imaginary part by real part. So, that's why if you observe this magnitude spectrum and phase spectrum, the given signal is this one. The given signal is this one. And the spectrum is like this. And phase spectrum is 0. So how we are going to get? You, you, you select the A value and you substitute different values of omega. And then we are going to get this magnitude spectrum and phase spectrum. So today I am going to stop this class. We will continue the next class.